So my mum um, died of dementia um, in March of last year, Gwen Benson, she was a local lady, and um, that sort of in a cathartic way wanted me to do portraits of local people with dementia, um, but not just about uh, highlighting dementia, it was about highlighting the carers and the family and how it affects them watching a close family member or friend slowly disappearing. When I went through it, I found it quite lonely and quite difficult, um, and you do feel like you're sort of by yourself a little bit with it. So I wanted to highlight that. So the portraits of the local people are really from that point of view, um, sort of how it feels, how this, uh, watching your loved ones disappear. When I decided that I wanted to do them, um, obviously I wanted to show them somehow, so I got in touch with the Alzheimer's Society and they found me the space at the um, York St John Sparks here. Um, and then it was a case of finding subjects to paint, really. Uh, and there was a few people that I'd made contact with, with my mum, not have, have been very well and had dementia, but there was also, um, I put it on Facebook, and just said if anybody was willing for me to share in the journey of, of their loved ones with dementia then that would be great and I'd have a fantastic response uh, and then it was just a case of getting down to it and doing the work. Well I was expecting it to be really quite sad and, and quite depressing especially seeing as I'd just lost my mum but a lot of it was quite uplifting um, because suddenly these people don't have any inhibitions I realised that music seems to be the last thing that goes so uh, one lady was quite subdued and then as soon as music was put on that she just got up and danced. Uh, another gentleman was quite happy, um, sat at the piano and he, although he couldn't play like he used to play, he could still do chords and it sounded good, you know, and so there's a positive side to it as well as the sadness.